shop. His Instagram will be right here, kl.fab. Don't ask me why he picked that weird name, but we have got something going on. I didn't, <laughs> I've missed a lot of this because I wasn't here, but we got the entire front tubing done with the bash bar, which is awesome. He has the radiator mounted, all the radiator plumbing is hooked up, also the intercooler mounted. I'm having a problem actually finding couplers for the intercooler, so it's not gonna be able to run today. We're actually gonna tow it back to my house today. But by the end of the today, that'll be the only problem with this build. Everything is good. It looks like I should be able to be getting aligned. Right now the alignment is horrible if you can see that. And I don't even know if the wheel is straight or not. But This also looks really weird because I have no front bumper but this one piece is right there. Kyle right now is getting the um, headlight covers mounted. He's going to get that other side. I am wiring up the headlights. That's what this bad boy is right here awesome though because this stuff is super solid on there because there's actually a bar behind here as well as well as the bar down here for the mounting points my eyes this looks like kind of simple it looks like okay you run a tube from here you run a tube from here you make it come out to the bash bar and you run a tube underneath and then a tube right there but it's like so much more work all this was actually a lot more work than what it looks like it looks freaking awesome we're all saying it kind of well, well we'll see when everything's on the car the fenders all the headlights and everything but it almost looks like an s2000 now by the way like the front it's more aggressive it's not like bubbly and stuff but this is what it's looking like right now we're just mounting everything back up the horn is right here just miscellaneous things we're throwing the Oh, what's this called? The coolant overflow tank right here kind of doesn't have a spot as of right now and it's also broken So I think we're gonna do something else with that. So we are going with a bigger intercooler as well The cold side used to have two and a half inch piping and the warm side used to have two inch piping We're going two and a half all around and that also makes it hard because we need different aluminum piping along with different aluminum or different couplers as well so that's what we're waiting on and that's the only reason it can't be driven right now because I don't I need an intercooler to drive. Obviously I have no housing for the turn signals or the side markers or anything anymore so I'm just kind of throwing the turn signals. I'm mounting it right here so it can't really dingle far and I'm gonna get something to keep it there. And also on this side I'm using like the coolant overflow uh, line and smushing it down in here and I am trying to keep it here. There's gonna do, I'm gonna do something where it like loops over here just to smash it in or something like that. But I think it's gonna look good right here. Not look good, but it's gonna be a good place for it. Not necessarily sure what I'm gonna do with the side markers yet. Um, I think it'd be dope if they're just sitting right here, but then again, I don't know what the fender is gonna look like or how far it really comes out in terms of the two front ends. So we're just gonna have to figure that out when we have the fender for this side. The Miata headlights and the stock Miata will go up and down. This is definitely gonna be fixed now. There is no motor making this going up and down. And by the way, this is just tacked in for now. This, it will actually get fully welded in later. Don't worry about that. Um, but now this is gonna be in a fixed position compared to the used to be going up and down and I kind of like that it's different it's uh, not seen all the time and it's cool put this in here like this cut this you should be happy you really don't have that much Yeah. Who is that? 
new fender that we got from eBay. It's actually in decent condition. There's some places on it where it's definitely like scratched up and you'd want to get to re be repainted, but it's a like gloss black and it's actually like if I had a gloss black car, I'd probably keep it this way, but overall, so far it's pretty good. Fitment might be weird because this side got crunched. So I'm hoping it's not a pain in the butt. So, we're back home, car drives, still a few minor things to work out, but for the most part, everything is solid. Today is Saturday, I got, we got this up and running Thursday, and I broke this car Thursday of last week. And I broke this car Thursday of last week, and I kept on saying to everyone around me, give me a week, give me a week, this will be back up and running, and it is. That would not have been possible without Wheelwell. Wheelwell has been super incredible during this entire series. This is the only reason why this car is up and running because of Wheelwell. You guys want to contact me on Wheelwell or if you guys want to check out my cars on Wheelwell, I have the Mazda Speed 3, I have the Mazda Miata. I have the exact modifications I've done to both cars, the horsepower spec for both cars, the torque spec for both cars in that Wheelwell link down below. You can message me at any time on that link. There's like a DM aspect of it as well. The guys over at Wheelwell have a super, super awesome website and they have hooked me up with my own page. It is super well made. I have a blog post up there as well. So if you guys wanna know how this accident actually happened, I have that as well in my Wheelwell account. Thank you so much, Wheelwell. This would not have been possible without you guys. There's also a few other people that this would not have been possible with. Um, obviously Kyle, Kyle put in so many hours on this thing. It looks simple, like I've said before, it looks more simple than it is, but all the geometry that goes into it and where to make the bends and all of that craziness and actually bending my frame back in place. Um, thank you so much, Kyle. His Instagram I'll post down below as well. These headlights right here are from Oxbeam. They were nice enough to sponsor them. They are incredible. I like them better than my old headlights and they were also from Oxbeam, but they were for a Jeep. So they sit a little high, so they didn't get as much of the road as I wanted. But these are adjustable, like adjustable a lot. I can put them straight up, I can put them straight down. There's a really cool, and I love this setup that Kyle made, how, how it's just sitting exactly here right now. There's no up and down. It's super different. All of this is like super different. Now I feel like I have a very, very custom Miata that you will never see on the road somewhere else, which is cool. I mean, there's definitely two front end Miatas out there, but this one just feels more like me now. It's just awesome. We have the hood latches now because obviously we, we don't have a frame up here to have this uh, hood latch for right here. So we have two um, arrow catchers, I believe they're called. They're the locking ones, which is good because I need it locked because I don't have a front bumper. So people are just gonna come up here and uh, try to steal stuff. There's still a lot more that needs to be done. I still do need to get um, different size piping for the hot side of the intercooler. I have a two inch piping right now. I'll go more over of how we actually got this thing running in a later video, but it's been way too long right now. I'm trying to make the video shorter. Also, huge thanks to TJ who trailered my car to Kyle's shop. Huge thanks to Tony, which is Kyle's good friend that works in the shop. You saw him a little bit in the video. Huge shout out from Rick and Evan from Throttle. They were like the first ones by my side telling me exactly what I should do or not do. They had a couple different opinions. I ended up going with the two front end. We were also talking about completely getting a new chassis, just a new Miata. Also, I had thoughts of dumping the Miata all together and getting a different car I've been thinking about for a while. But at the end of the day, I'm so glad I went with this decision. The two front end came out amazing. We still have a couple things to do, so stick around because there's gonna be a couple videos making this work better. Right now, we have a coupler inside of a coupler on the, on the hot side with a metal pipe in the between and it's, it's madness. I need to get some stuff. There will be a lot more videos of this in the future making it all buttoned up, look nice. I'm gonna be talking to my boys at Premium Auto Styling, trying to get a new color on this bad boy because a lot of the wrap got chewed up. Um, that fender, this hood, this um, headlight cover, that fender's not even wrapped. So a good portion of the car is kind of damaged for the wrap. 
that's expected. It would last a lot better than what paint would have, I tell you that. So I'm looking for a new color for wrap. So tell me what I should do down below. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. Obviously the car is purple themed, so keep that in mind of what you think I'm going to do. Also, huge shout out to you guys. This would not be possible if you guys didn't watch. I appreciate every single one of you. If you guys didn't watch, this, none of this would be possible. I would not have this car. I would not have any modifications done to the Mazda Speed 3. You guys are the reason I am able to do things like this. this. If I crashed this and I did not have you guys watching me and supporting me, there's no way I would have been able to fix this in a week, let alone ever. Uh, this isn't the cheapest thing to do, but it was the best thing to do. Every single time I get in this car it is like the best thing. Thing ever. This is by far my favorite car. It's just so freaking awesome. It's fast. It's rear wheel drive. It looks crazy. The color's crazy. Everything about it is like kind of custom. So it's just like my own car, you know? But I'm just jabbing on now. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world. If you could like the video, maybe share it to a friend or two. Share my name out there. Get me out there. We've been stuck kind of at the same subscriber point for a while, but the views are still consistent, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Like the video if you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, like the video. Comment whatever you want to comment. And bye, boys. When I am